Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. Today we're gonna to be running some more logs and I've spent some of my hard earned money on uh, four more skeleton cars. So we've got a total of eight now. And uh, judging by your comments on some prior videos, it looks like they've updated it. So if you start with the new patch, you actually get eight right from the start. But I started this save a couple days before release. So I was on the old pre-release build. So I had to buy four, four more cars. Uh, but I've just got the old uh, mogul here topped off. This is the mogul, right? I'm not a... Yeah, there we go. I'm not a super train nerd, so it's it's a steam choo-choo. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is, uh, it's the G16 mogul. The 10-wheeler back there is up to 91%, I think. Yeah, it's, it's almost repaired. So it'll be repaired later today. Uh, it's just a little afternoon here, day two still. And let's just take a quick look at finances. Uh, doing pretty well. You can see I did buy uh, some cars, so that set us back a bit. But been making passenger runs and pulling in a little bit of money. Uh, somebody made a comment about me using AI, like why use AI? It costs money. Well, it doesn't cost very much money. $4, $7. There's my AI at the shop. So I spent $11 on AI. And it's fun. I like uh, playing with AI like that, so... That's why I was using the AI, because it is fun. <laughs> it's fun for me. All right, I think we're all set. We just need to release the brakes and get on out of here. We are in forward. We're good to go. And I believe I'm lined up on the switch. Yep. Good to go on the switch as well. I don't think I saw any comments. I had wondered if there was a speedometer. Um, did, did these old Steam Locos, did they not even have a speedometer? Maybe that wasn't even a thing. Engineers just kind of had to get a feel for it, maybe. I'm sure somebody out there knows in comment land. And I haven't even paid attention. I don't know if these gauges even work. I'll have to pay attention when I put the brakes on. Uh, this is, yeah, it's, like I said before, it's not a hardcore loco simulator. I saw some negative reviews due to that fact. I'm like, well, you didn't read the Steam store page then, did you? <laughs> doesn't say anywhere that it's, you know, super hardcore locomotive simulator. It's a railroad management game where you can drive the trains. And I am having a lot of fun with it. May not be for everybody, and that's okay. ease on up here. I'm going to couple up these cars and then I'm going to set them to my official Fedora Railroad colors. Yeah, I think the yeah, the gauges do work. Alright, cool. So oh, that's the window. They need to look into the uh, mouse over because you can open stuff through geometry. So oh, Maybe it's too expensive to raycast and see if you're hitting something. I don't know. I, I don't have access to the code base, obviously. So I don't know how they're doing that exactly. But I do have some uh, programming and game development experience. All right, so you can see these cars, the new ones are just random colors that you get when you buy new stuff. Here we go, got some air on. And they also will not have their, uh, their way bills set. Man, I'm surprised. You see me hop over that car? Spry for an old guy. So if we pull up this guy, see there's no no waybills or anything set, but we can just copy those off of the existing cars. If I come down here, go to operations, I can say copy to coupled. Doink. And then I don't think I have all these on my switch list. Let me pull up the switch list. See, all that stuff got delivered. So I kind of, do I want to leave that on there? Because that should change when the way bill changes. So I may just leave those on there and then add the log car. So that's, the switch list is going to get pretty long, I think. Um, and then I think I can copy the uh, customization as well. Yeah. 
So I've got my official colors here, and we'll just copy that over to the coupled. There we go. Got a nice Fedora Railroad red. I think that looks nice on the skeleton cars, and I brightened up the uh, text a little bit. Now, I had thought at the first that I was going to have numbered series. Like, I changed, I think, the caboose and the passenger. and But I think I'll just let that let it go. It does a nice job of randomizing the numbers, and it won't duplicate. So, I think I'll just let it go and let it do its own numbering. But anywho, let's get these on the switch list. If I hit Shift 2, it'll switch the third-person camera to where my person is. And we'll just go down the line here. I don't know of any quick way to do this. I've tried like shift clicking because shift does things in game, but I haven't figured out a way to get a whole cut of cars onto your switch list. If you know how to do that, let me know. That would be a, a nice little time saver. Doesn't take too long with only eight cars, but time is money, right? Okay, so now I should have one, two, three, four, four. Yep, we got eight. We got eight on the switch list for Connolly Creek. All right, let's climb in our loco and we'll get on out of here. And I think I'll just drive from third person. It's a little easier. If I hit zero on my uh, keyboard, it'll bring me to third person camera zoomed in on my selected loco. Nine will take you to the end of your train, so whatever you're coupled up to. And zero is your selected loco. Or in this case, the tender, because it's the end of the end of the line. All right, we've got nothing on the train hood indicating problems. Let's get on out of here. And I will probably make use of the AI because it's a it's a bit of a trip up to Connolly Creek. I do want to clean up some of these switches while we're backing up. Throw that one over. And let's go make sure we're lined up for Connolly Creek. You look good. You do not, because I've been coming through here. So with the other loco being 91%, I could put it into service, but I think. Since I've got the guy in the shop, I'm just going to let it get fixed 100%. And then it's going to go on passenger service. I think, no, actually I think this one will go on passenger service. Because this has a lot more capacity. Even though it has a smaller tender. I don't know if that's just for gameplay reasons. This has a smaller tender than the 10-wheeler. But it carries a lot more coal and water. So I think I'll put it on passenger service. Just so I don't have to uh, refill it as often. All right, looking good. <laughs> Some nice little sounds there. I didn't whistle when I stopped, I guess. There we go. Got some of that coupler sounds as we take in the slack. Sometimes you just got to toot the whistle. Start easing that reverser back. I'm still getting used to the camera doesn't rotate like it rotates around a point out in the distance. Which is fine. It just takes a little getting used to. I kind of wish it was just a free camera. When you weren't focused on something. Alright, let's lock on to the loco. And we're going to run on up to Connolly Creek. So, I will see you up there.
Finally made it on up to Connolly. It's a little bit of a slog. I've been letting Al drive. I think it was in the last video I, I introduced Al. Albert Inman, Mr. AI. Yes, I'm a big goofball. So he's going to pull in here and he'll come to a nice stop. Probably cost me about 40 cents to have him drive up here. Well worth it. I was just catching up on some of the comments on the uh, previous videos while I was waiting. Appreciate all the support here. It's been a lot of fun. And I look forward to growing this railroad. See how big we can get with just one guy running. There we go. All right, we're going to sit here and get some logs. It won't take too long. So let's just go ahead and skip some time real quick. Uh, let's wait an hour. And there we go. All loaded up. They get her done pretty quick. I just say, all right, Al, take her on back down. <laughs> we'll go make some money, and let's see how... Let's see how number two is doing. Oh, he's up to 94%. So, yeah, it's it's not going to be runnable till tomorrow. So, I might have to go do some more passenger runs uh, with the mogul after I drop off the uh, logs here. I was looking, I think, is it the Atlantic? I think the Atlantic looked like kind of like a passenger... I wish they had pictures here. One of the, I know I was looking at some of the locos. One of them had great big old drivers, like it was made for passenger running. So I may get a an actual passenger locomotive at some point. Need to do some more research. See what would make the most sense. We also need to make a lot of money, but money wise, I think we're going to be just fine because we're we're already bringing in a decent amount of cash with all the uh, contracts and especially the. Uh, Where's my income from the logs? Uh, there it is. That was just, you know, the first little bit. So if we do a couple trips a day, keep them topped off. And then I also want to do a higher tier uh, contract once this one is fulfilled. I just didn't want to bite off a whole bunch right at the beginning. So th there'll be a lot of log running in my future. <laughs> Might even get more cars. I think uh, I think somebody in the comments said the sawmill can hold 10 cars. Uh, I'm just going with 8 for now because that's all that single place up there will hold. But there's three different logging areas here on the Connolly branch. So you can get a lot of logs down out of here and then you can just switch down at the sawmill. Depending on how you wanted to do it. But... In the future, it'll probably be worth, you know, bringing one train up here, filling it all up with logs, and then doing the switching down here at the sawmill. Because it's, it's a little bit of a run, especially all the way up to this one or this one. So lots of opportunity to expand and uh, be more efficient in the future. But I'll see you down at the sawmill. And we've made it back to the sawmill. Got some squealy flanges as we come through the curve there. All right, Al, you've done a fine job. But I'm going to take back over from you here, buddy. Get that back to manual. on some brakes. 
think it starts about right where these flowers are. Yeah. It's kind of my reference point. <laughs> All right, that'll do. Yeah, the handbrake on. Already taken logs. We need to go run some passengers. Let's pull that, and then let's back up on out of here. That one handbrake should be plenty. Check here. He is uh, equipment. Yeah, ninety-five percent. You know, getting there. We'll be able to use the uh, ten with her tomorrow. Yeah, because this just holds so much more. So I'm gonna go top this guy off again, and I'll probably just finish out the day doing some passenger runs. Because I think. Uh, let's see, sawmill. Yeah, 13. We've definitely fulfilled the contract for today because we've already dropped off logs and then we just brought eight more. I think it's just going to be passenger runs here. I bet we're uh, I bet we're full up. Been a little bit since I was up there. I've been thinking about changing up the whistle. I've just been running the defaults. Maybe we should get a different whistle on here. Whoa! I uh, still am not quite good at getting stopped where I want to go. And yeah, we need some uh, we need some anti-aliasing, folks. Hope that comes with time. A lot of squiggles. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to get some water, uh, throw a little more coal in the bunker, and we're going to do some passenger runs to close out this video. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're just coming around the corner here into Whittier. And I think we'll do push. And then when we're running backwards, we won't have a passenger car in the way. It may not be the way they used to do it, but it's the way I'm going to do it. Headlight on them. Easy does it. Isn't too bad. <laughs> well, I just spilled somebody's coffee. All right, if we shift click that. Oh, this guy was was open. I kind of wish you could just click on the glad hands, but it makes me wonder if there's not going to be more to the air system at some point, since almost everything else is click. But these you can do variable. So, kind of makes you wonder. Sixty out of sixty. Ready to head on down the line. And you do have a handbrake on, so we want to turn that off. There we go. All right. Let's roll. Get these folks down to Ella. In a little bit of slack action weirdness there. Hopefully I'll get patched out someday as we go through early access. Get some speed on.
Not sure what the rating is for these corners. There are speed limit signs around. I don't remember seeing one. I think it's 35 unless it's noted otherwise. Although, back by Eastwood, you're... The AI, AI will do 45, so there are differences here and there. So let's just go ahead and I think I'm in the yeah, I'm in the seat, so yeah, we're up to we're up to 33. We'll just have to watch it. There's I know there's some 30 curves up through here, so we can back this off a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll use. I do this way. There we go. We'll do 10. We'll keep her about 35, and somewhere up along here there's a, a 30. But... So I don't want to get too crazy. Whee! <laughs> yeah, that'll do. All right, I'm going to roll on down the line, and I'll see you down in Ella. Back off the throttle, and we are coming in, coming in hot. <laughs> There's a station up here somewhere. There it is. ease on in here still get used to the controls alrighty they're disembarking and we're going to tell the other folks they can get on and uh, there you have it I hit Dude, yeah, let's hit zero. There we go. Well, we're, we're in the trees. That's not good. <laughs> All right, folks, that'll be it for this one. Uh, I'm just going to run some passengers, I think, the rest of the day. Let those logs process off. And then uh, we'll see what the next day holds at the interchange. Thanks, as always, for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.